Around the world, citizens have been mobilizing to defend their environment and economic sovereignty from transnational corporations. Even when we have successfully garnered the support of governments to protect our water, environment, and health, there is another threat lurking in the shadows that can ride roughshod over our rights. I'm here in Washington at the World Bank, which houses something that most people have never heard of before, which is the International Center for Settlement of Investment Disputes, or ICSID as it is known. This is an international tribunal that has tremendous power over the ability of governments to serve the public interest. And that's because an increasing number of international trade and investment treaties allow foreign investors to bypass domestic courts and sue governments here at ICSID and other international tribunals. What can they sue over? Well, these treaties include a long list of vaguely worded investor rights. The ICSID and other tribunals like it have been used to recoup investments and even sue for lost profits. One of the most well-known was filed against the Bolivian people following the historic water wars. In 2000, Bechtel Corporation privatized the water system in the Bolivian city of Cochabamba resulting in price hikes of 50% and higher for some of the country's poorest and most vulnerable people. The protests that ensued forced Bechtel to leave the country empty-handed. In retaliation, the company filed a $50 million lawsuit in the World Bank's investment tribunal, despite having invested less than $1 million. Eh, permite que las empresas sa, eh, exijan indemnizaciones por el lucro cesante por las ganancias a futuro que no van a ganar más. Esa es una locura. Nos están pidiendo que les paguemos no solo por lo que han perdido en el tiempo que estuvieron acá, sino lo que esperaban ganar a futuro. Cuando hicimos números y vimos qué representaban esos 50 millones de dólares para la Bestel y qué representaban para nosotros, las diferencias pues eran abismales. ¿no? Para una corporación tan grande no significaba nada pero que a nosotros significaba mucho, nos parecía que era un abuso lo que ellos estaban pretendiendo hacer. Por otro lado, eh, quienes eh, a veces deciden, como en el caso del CIADI, por ejemplo, eran tres personas, ¿no? No se escuchan a la, no se escuchan las otras partes, no se escuchan a la población. Only after an international solidarity campaign became a public relations nightmare did the corporation decide to drop the case for a token sum. In El Salvador, the Canadian mining company Pacific Rim was denied a permit for gold mining on environmental grounds. In response, the corporation filed a lawsuit under the investment chapter in CAFTA for $77 million. La causa principal, el problema principal, eh, es también el Tratado de Libre Comercio que le da oportunidades a estas empresas que vengan y que se pongan sobre la soberanía de nuestro país, incluso sobre nuestra constitución política. Para nosotros decimos que es bien ridículo cómo es posible que los ladrones estén demandando a los dueños de las riquezas naturales que existen en nuestro país. Some fear that the exploitation of their mineral wealth could result in the polluting of the country's principal water resources. Si contaminan el agua, nosotros quedamos totalmente vulnerables, porque no tenemos dónde nosotros ir y traer agua que, que, esté, que esté bien, que no sea contaminada. Y igual, los animales se morirán, la tierra también, que no se va a poder cultivar. Entonces, esta es una amenaza que nosotros tenemos desde que se comenzó a hablar en nuestro país sobre la minería. In early 2010, the Uruguayan government passed new legislation that would require their tobacco products to carry large health warnings. In response, Philip Morris filed a lawsuit in ICSID claiming this action violated a bilateral investment treaty. Uruguay has to elaborate a political anti-tabaco very, very strong and advanced at a global level. For example, the companies can only sell one brand for a product for a commercial brand registered. No, Malboro puede ser vender solo Malboro y no puede vender Malboro Light, por ejemplo. Después que no vio que el gobierno no iba a dar atrás, directamente no negoció nada, no reclamó nada, fue directamente hacia ahí, le, 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 le
instaló una demanda, eso fue en marzo del 2000, de 2010. Es en realidad uh, una manera de, para que las transnacionales puedan eh, objetar a cualquier iniciativa política pública de gobierno. Si ellos alegan que esa política pública podría tener algún impacto sobre sus ingresos. Entonces eso amarra las manos al Estado, a cualquier política pública, a cualquier modificación de leyes. O sea, ellos pusieran que se le estás aumentando sus costos, por tanto disminuyendo sus ganancias y tienes que compensarlo, tienes que pagarte. Eh, tiene un efecto eh, congelador, se podría decir, sobre políticas públicas. Ecuador and Bolivia have withdrawn from the convention that establishes ICSID, rejecting its authority, while countries like Australia and Brazil have refused to sign treaties that allow investors to sue governments in international tribunals. In the United States, a broad coalition is pushing for a whole new approach to trade, while hundreds of economists have expressed opposition to trade rules that restrict government's ability to prevent financial crisis. The Union of South American Nations is working to create an alternative regional investment arbitration system. People from all over the world are also working to block new trade and investment agreements that would give foreign investors excessive power and push for a whole new approach to globalization. All over the world, you have examples of where people rise up and demand that the governments take action. And sometimes in places like El Salvador, Bolivia, Uruguay, they win. And so what do the corporations affected do? They run to these international trade courts and try to become more powerful than governments themselves. They try to essentially replace democracy and public policy with the rules that the corporations write. Some people think that these cases should just belong in the local courts. There's an effort here in South America to create an alternative system that doesn't have these kinds of pro-corporate rules that is much more balanced. That's what's at stake here. It's not about one corporation, it's not about one country. It is about whether we genuinely have democracy. It's about whether or not people actually have the right, as a people, to write the rules that determine what their futures are and the futures for their children. The Network for Justice and Global Investment aims to support activist campaigns around specific cases and amplify the many alternative proposals from around the world for a new system that puts the interests of the people and the planet above the narrow interests of foreign investors. Well, your markets now pack a military might And your wars are worth their weight in gold privatize the air and commoditize love and put a price on the human soul and put a price on the human soul hey 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 well my confidence is down and you can bet your ass won't be boosted by how much I consume. 